Boulder's top stories this week. Advisory group rolls out preliminary recommendations for West Trails. Council members hear energy savings ideas from students. Boulder businesses kick off Buy Local for the Holidays campaign. And the library hosts a festive concert. Hi, I'm Mike Benuelos. Boulder Outdoor enthusiasts will have the opportunity to provide feedback on a set of recommendations related to the Open Space and Mountain Parks West Trail Study Area on Monday, December 6th at 6 p.m. The West Trail Study Area recommendations come after a 14-month effort that involved both city staff and an advisory group of Boulder residents interested in recreation and resource con conservation. The group, called the Community Collaborative Group, will present its findings at an open house and will be looking at the Boulder community at large for feedback. Inside Boulder News spoke with Open Space and Mountain Parks project manager Steve Armstead by phone about the study, the preliminary recommendations, and the upcoming public process. So the uh, CCG, the Community Collaborative Group, has kind of come up with a suite of initial recommendations. This includes recommendations around which undesignated trails in the area best serve where people want to go in some of the key destinations and which ones are best to uh, close or restore because they may uh, be in areas of higher resource sensitivity, natural resource sensitivity, or maybe redundant and another trail will serve that access better. Looking at uh, where dog management, voice and sight opportunities um, are, where there's some potential new opportunities for no dog or dog free access, as well as some leash. Looking for locations appropriate for equestrian use. Um, and also looking at uh, areas where uh, redefining some of the trail system would serve kind of the long-term physical sustainability. So the CCG is about to, f to complete their work, but they're not there yet. So they wanted to um, seek out uh, input from the community about their recommendations as they stand to date. They will certainly consider and hear what the community has for thoughts about things that they got right, things that maybe they ought to think about or could possibly include in their recommendations, and then come back uh, and meet. The CCG will meet on January 6th for their final meeting as they prepare their final report, which will be delivered to the Open Space Board of Trustees on uh, January 19th. The current study will inform the final West Trail plan. This plan will provide management direction for open space and mountain park lands north of El Dorado Springs Drive, south of Linden Avenue, and west of Highway 93 for the next 10 years. For background documents, including the Community Collaborative Group recommendations, visit the West Trail Study website. Environmental and energy issues are pressing topics for Boulder City Council. And this week, council members, along with Mayor Osborne, were able to hear that these issues are also important to Boulder youth. Natalie Wood has more on the story. Boulder is one of the most environmentally conscious cities in the nation, and its youth are no exception. Area students are taking action in their own high schools, and Boulder City Council members were impressed to hear of their efforts. I'm proud, so proud of our community. There's so many um, well-spoken and passionate young people here. Those passionate students presented innovative ideas and programs to conserve energy and reduce waste. Everything from applying for grants for solar panels to recycling prom dresses. Boulder City Council told the students they are a vital part of Boulder's environmental future and they are excited to have youth involvement in the city's endeavors. There are opportunities where we may be able to assist in what they're doing or we, they may be able to engage in some of the efforts we have going that haven't had as much youth involvement as we would have liked. This meeting was a positive first step to a relationship that will benefit the city of Boulder. City Council members encourage these passionate students to keep them informed with their future plans of action. The holidays are right around the corner and with the holidays come shopping. When you venture out into the cold to buy a gift for family members, that special someone, or even your favorite pet, the city would like to remind residents that it pays to buy local. December is officially Buy Local Month in Boulder and to kick off the festivities, the Local and Loving It Fest will be held on Saturday, December 4th at the Boulder Outlook Hotel. The festival, from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. on Saturday, will feature local merchant kiosks with prize giveaways, local artists displaying artwork for sale, various panel discussions with top Boulder businesses, local food and music, and games and activities for kids. And the best part, admission to this family event is free. 
When you buy local this holiday season, you're really getting yourself a gift too. Local sales tax collected supports city services that benefit you. So do yourself a favor this holiday season and buy local. For coupons and discounts and great retailer information, go to the Buy Into Boulder website. Bring your family and get into the holiday spirit this weekend with two free festive concerts in the Canyon Theater at the main Boulder Public Library. At 4 p.m. on Saturday, December 4th, Boulder harpist Margaret Kimmel and her students perform favorite pieces of the season. And on Sunday, December 5th, the Boulder Philharmonic presents a holiday chamber concert at 4 p.m. For more information, go on the library's website. And lastly, a quick correction to last week's broadcast. In an interview about Quest Pole replacement efforts, the interviewee was misidentified as Jim Reader. It was, in fact, Utilities Project Manager Joe Tadeucci. Sorry, Joe. You can connect with Inside Boulder News on Facebook by submitting news tips and questions. Just search for City of Boulder Channel 8. That's it for this edition of Inside Boulder News. I'm Mike Benuelos. Stick around for more Inside Boulder right after this.